Ohio. The guest is Mr. Rip Patton, and the topic is the Freedom Ride, and of course Mr. Patton is a Freedom Ride participant. Uh, as a Freedom Rider, uh, uh, Mr. Patton, let's give our audience some idea in terms of what you were uh, trying to uh, achieve and, 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 and the obstacles that segregation had already dealt in reference to what you wanted to do. Okay, as you know, in that time, everything was separate. Uh, for example, if you're a Nashvilleian, you know that when you went downtown to shop, you had separate restrooms, separate water fountains, you could not eat in the facilities that they had in the five and dime stores. Well, they had the same thing in the bus terminals, Trailway and Greyhound. Mm -hmm. When you got up, well, you had to sit in the back of the bus for one thing. Mm -hmm. Secondly, when you reached your destination, if you wanted to go in and have a sandwich mm -hmm. or refresh yourself, you had to follow the signs that said colored. Mm -hmm. And according to the law, that was against the law. Uh, the federal law that allowed you as as a passenger on the bus mm -hmm. or an airplane mm -hmm. you were supposed to be able to use the facilities mm -hmm. you should be able to go into the front door mm -hmm. use the restroom of choice mm -hmm. and to use uh, the lunch counter mm -hmm. but uh, that's what the core that's what core was testing mm -hmm. to make sure that these walls had fallen, fallen uh, down mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, so there were people who resisted this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. First, I must tell you that uh, they didn't just get on a bus or two buses mm -hmm. and ride. Mm -hmm. This was one of those things that we found out in Nashville was that the uh, FBI mm -hmm. had to know at all times what was going on. Mm -hmm. You had to call the 